Change can be challenging, but if you understand how to undertake the journey, it can reveal a host of treasures. In her new book, When Life Changes, or You Wish It Would, How to Survive and Thrive in Uncertain Times, Carol Adrian soothes fears, inspires courage, and motivates us to take action. Welcome to Sonoran Living, the internationally known workshop facilitator, author of seven books, Carol Adrian. Thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure. It is an honor to have you here. I know Oprah hailed your book, The Purpose of Your Life, a must-read. How did that change your life well that was a great experience with her she's one of my idols anyway and what she puts out is just exactly what I feel is the most important way to handle change she's always talking about being self-empowered having a good attitude knowing yourself she's the best mm -hmm. she seems to be the best she and I is. know Erin I encourage you to read this you book did. because she's Thank in the you. midst of such change so we were just sharing how has this book impacted you what revelation well you know I in fact I, I will share with everyone that I was hoping we weren't giving my copy away because I actually go through and, and <laughs> highlight things but um, you know I'm you break it up into four areas the break the void um, then the area where you start to get things back, you know, the phone This is the life cycle, changes. actually, and we have yeah. a graphic to put mm -hmm. up, because, Carol, would you kind of explain this, or maybe, you know, Erin could probably sure. explain it well, too. Oh, no, I'm just well, stuck in a couple you, areas. How do you identify <laughs> right. what's really happening in your well, life? Well, I was very inspired by Joseph Campbell and all mm -hmm. his mythical work, and myths are something that are always happening and yet never happening. It sounds like it's a myth, but actually it has so much truth for us. And so what I began to see, I really wanted a graphic for the book, to show people where are you because when you're in the when you're in the midst of this huge mm -hmm. big upheaval it's uh, all chaos. It's happening and mm -hmm. so i need some, personally i need something to think about to orient me so i began to see that you can be in the break mm -hmm. where your life changes mm -hmm. like it can be dramatic like we know last year mm -hmm. it can be gradual like i know something's working on me i need a change mm -hmm. so you're in a change whether it's gradual or a big one okay and then you get sometimes, depending on how you take it in, whether you are like overwhelmed by that or you're just kind of searching, you can go into this void place, which I think you were talking about, Erin, mm -hmm. where you think nothing's happening. It's just, I'm stagnated. Mm -hmm. I can't even see my way off the couch. But the beauty of seeing it in a cycle like this is that you know the next step is going to be there. the return. Mm -hmm. Something's going to happen. There. Explain That's that right. stage. In the myth, the hero or the heroine always goes down in the underworld and can't do something. There's a task that he or she is given and she can't do it. Well, eventually she gets outside help. Something comes in. She gets an intuition. She gets help from little beings. And then she gets an insight, and she starts to come back up again. And that's the return. And we do that. We begin to see our way clear. And then we come back up to what I call dynamic balance, which is more like our normal place. But in our normal place, it's, we still have problems. We still have challenges. But I think in change, you're always looking for that return. That's your hopeful you moment. And I know yes. it can be something as simple, just to, to explain for folks, as a phone call from, I don't know, it could be a job offer. Right. It could be a friend right. who you wanted to connect with. Right. It could be a new haircut. A new haircut. Yeah, a yeah new just haircut. something that... Well, what, one thing I like to tell people is to... I have this little acronym that I'm using now called AIM, A-I-M. And you know how when you, you focus on something, you begin to see it everywhere? Mm -hmm. You know, like you're trying oh, to yeah. think of, oh, I want to buy a new car. I want a, a blue Ford. And you, you see, see it everywhere. Or if you're highway. pregnant, you see pregnant women everywhere. You see women pregnant everywhere. women everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking if, if our listeners could think of the word AIM, in the next week or so, you hear it, people talking the word, the, the word AIM, you'll see it in the newspaper or on TV or something. The acronym for AIM, A-I-M, can help you stay on track. Because, see, I, my memory's going a little bit. Okay, so, so I, have, I need acronyms and certain, you know, fun things to, to help me stay on track. Well, the A of AIM has to do with attitude. Attitude is everything. Mm -hmm. when you're In uncertain mm -hmm. times, like we are in right now, mm -hmm. what we do is we feel helpless. We feel like, I'm overwhelmed. I can't deal with anything. But if our attitude is, you know, it could be good, it could be bad. That's an old Zen saying, which I love a lot. Could be good, it could be good or bad, it, it takes the onus off of you of having to be perfect or right all the time. Hmm. My friend Shirley taught me that. She said she really learned that, you know, that when she lost her job, she had this plum job and she lost it because really it wasn't right for her right now. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know what, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it just was a new opening. Okay, so, so that that's was the everything. A. That's the A. The other thing with A is very important here. If you want something to come into your life, put yourself on assignment. Say to the universe, to life, I want to know more about my next move. I want to get more clarity about my next move. Put yourself on assignment and it works. My friend who's in a, she's a journalist. Every time she's on a story, mm -hmm. she gets exactly the right information more clues for that story. To what's, what's next for you. So that so attitude, attitude and, and assignment will work a lot. Okay. The I of in aim is intention. Listen, what is your intention right now? Keep your focus on what your intention is. If you want a new job, 
well, what is it you're looking for? What is it that would make you happy? It's a feeling state more than specifics. Okay. And should we stay away from, I know in the book you mentioned something about a lot of times if your intention isn't in the right place, you're focusing more on money. That's right. Um, or more on the what fact you really that need? you want to be this huge success. I was going to say, ego gets in the way, exactly. which you were saying is another key component. It's, it's your book. intellect. The biggest problem with being in uncertain times is we think we have to have 100% a, a clarity about what we're doing. I have to have a plan, mm -hmm. and that's the biggest thing that that really paralyzes us is okay. having that clarity. So it's intense. more it's more about intending something, not figuring it out, but sort of following it out, which brings us to in intuition. All what right. is your intuition? Intu intuition? You know, when I went and rented my I, I went and uh, when I uh, rented my um, rental car last night when I arrived in Phoenix, um, I was thinking, God, I should they should give me a red car so I won't lose it in the parking lot because that you know cars they all look right. alike to me. I went down to get my car and it was a red car. I was like, how many red cars have I ever rented before? So that was a little bit, that's my intuition working. It's sort of, you get information ahead of reality. Interesting. And the M. And the M is about staying in the moment because, you, you know, when you're worried about uncertainties, you're either in the future worrying about something you can't control or you're in the past regretting mm -hmm. everything, that, which also you can't control. Mm -hmm. So stay in the moment. Stay with what's happening because your own life purpose is somehow speaking to you all the time and it wants to have it's trying to get your attention yeah you know i real quickly a, an acronym uh, a friend of mine told me erin you just always complicate things that's part of your problem mm -hmm. she told me my i should follow kiss keep it simple stupid, stupid. Mm -hmm. there's another good one <laughs> yeah staying yeah. in the moment though that's a simple yeah. reality that's that is real. hard to do mm -hmm. but it, you're right why worry about tomorrow yeah. you know all righty we have a book signing tonight because i know you're going to want to hear more from carol listen not me I could just take some credit for it. Changing Hands Bookstore on South McClintock Drive. That's in Tempe, 480-730-1142. Carol would be there tonight at 7 o'clock again to chat and sign your books. And we have right now here on Sonoran Living five signed copies of When Life Changes. We want to give them away right now to callers 4 through 8, 602-260-1500. Have a great time tonight. I know Thank people you. will be flocking to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. joining us. Great, great opportunity. Yeah, yeah. come back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. I would love that. And stay with us, everyone. Coming up next, if you have not heard of DXM, you will today. It is the active ingredient in a lot of cough syrups, cough and cold tablets, but your kids may be using it to get high. It is very dangerous. Up next, Lisa Fletcher and the ABC 15 investigators will tell us a little bit more about this drug.